Hi friends, I'm Ruxana Murtaza. You are watching me on my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to tell you about the Max Scholarship for Japan. And um, most of the students are applying for very first time and they, they don't know what are the documents that are required for the Max Scholarship. Here, I'm going to tell you about few informations and a few documents which are written in their website of the Max Scholarship. And I'm going to tell you about what are the documents that, that, that you need to have and um, although the all universities which comes under the max scholarship the procedure for it is the same and i'm concerned with the fukuan university so that's why i'm just focusing on it and i'm going to tell you about what are the documents required and uh, generally these documents are required for the rest of the universities to under the max scholarship and um uh, selection you know there is a uh, the university uh, you can see here the name of the university is the Fukua University and uh, uh, what are the requirements and uh, the first of all they are uh, the, the uh, in here you can see notification of the selection and you will be notified in June you know when you will um, uh, you know whether you are accepted or rejected in this uh, the result will come out in the in June in um, in the Fukua University and generally the the uh, result of all max scholarships comes at this time period and the qualification and um, eligibility criteria these things are uh, you know for all inter all international can applied and the age limits uh, in there is a written in age limit that you can you 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 know the applicant must be burned before uh, you know this uh, must be burned between or after this 1987 so you you must be burned uh, after this and 18 uh, 80, uh, 1987 and um, academic background you know your academic background if you are going for master's program you have 16 year education if you have a um, post doc um, post i mean for phd program doctor program you have 18 year education a major field of study in you can see here what are the major field of studies after uh, you know what are the you know all the document all the uh, department which comes under the max scholarship you can apply you know but uh, the major field of selection in this term they are telling you about you know the subject of applicant must be study and research graduated course uh, at the Fukuoka university so it must be matched with it and um, a language you know uh, if you have a japanese language then it's okay if you don't have then you can go for english proficiency certificate and um, so these are the uh, few uh, points for you and you need to read it out and uh, health health wise you must be uh, you know fit and uh, arrive in japan there is a two sessions you know if you want to go for september intake or march intake in that uh, according to your situation you have to select any one of them and uh, for visa requirement these are the requirements for visa and you have to read it by yourself and uh, if you are um, if you don't know uh, if you don't uh, have anything you know if you are not uh, fulfilled or above these requirements so so you are not al allowed to apply for it so if in case of non eligibility there are the points in which points you or you will be non eligible so you you can read out it by yourself if i'm going to be set for reading out one by one it will take time and um, these are the and a part of max scholarship there are also scholarships available university scholarships and uh, you can further go for it uh, in through this uh, page and um, here you can you can see the classifications and the time period and, um, and so these are the uh, time period for the max scholarship and um, here you can see extension of uh, you know if you are willing to extension of period of scholarship in that case what you need to do is uh, what you need to do and uh, in what in which type of cases you ca you can be take uh, extension extension of your studies and um, what are the benefits of this uh, scholarship you can be given um, this much amount and um, 1300 uh, young will be given to you and the travel expenses and transportation in from japan these are the things are just accommodation you can go for it and um, suspension in in case of a uh, suspension you can go for it and application these are the documents you need to have okay 
you need to uh, you need to have application of max scholarship and uh, you need to have a study plan and ab abstract of your thesis and um, letter of recommendations and uh, below this you know as uh, you know citizen of your home country you have to show them and um, photographs official transcript and are required and um, uh, english proficiency certificate or japanese certificate are required and um, so these are the uh, you know um, certificate of health and uh, passport these are things are required for it and um, i'm sure that you can get it from this page that what you are looking for if you are applying for the first time and uh, if you have any question you can write in a comment and uh, i will answer you and uh, i will see you in next video till that allah peace